Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for some more Forza Horizon 3, and we have another new car pack in the game, which is fantastic. It just came out yesterday, November 1st, 2016, and here's all the cars that are in it, and honestly, there's a few nice cars in here, but there's only one car out of all these that really stands out to me and that I'm really excited about, and I've been having a f ton of fun driving, and that's this right here, the Nissan 1998 240SX, in this game they call it the Sylvia K's Arrow, and man, I was so happy to see this car. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the Forza Vista customization options for this thing when it's stock, and then just kind of show you the under the hood and the inside and everything. Then I'm going to show you what I turned the car into, how I customized it. And at the end, I'm going to share with you some gameplay, just me driving fast, and then also just, I think, about five minutes of me just driving around and drifting, just kind of just having fun and practicing my drifting, and I did tune this car a little bit. Um, it's an S1882, I believe, but I'm still working on the tune, so I'm not going to share any tuning setup right now, but if you would like to see one, just let me know because I am working on it, and I absolutely love this car, and we're going to talk about why, but if you'd like to see that tuning setup, let me know because I'll keep working on it, and once I feel like it's good enough and I perfect it then maybe I'll share that but I thought this right here was so funny this body kit I'm not you know I'm not a big Nissan guy I don't know too many details about Nissans I've never really been into Nissans I do like a lot of their cars I'm not even gonna lie like especially in this game I'm realizing how many especially of the older Nissans that I liked but I still don't really know like too many details about them but I thought that body kit was so funny I'm not sure who came up with that but the front end of it kind of looks like a muscle car, it doesn't even look like this car anymore. And the rear bumper is just not even there, so it's just, it was so funny when I saw that. I was like, what the heck is the idea here with this? But, I mean, it's still pretty sick, and it makes the car an S1900 if you do put this on, but I chose to just customize it my way and leave it the way it was, because the front end of the car, like, that's the part that I really like about it, so... I don't really like it like this, I mean it kind of looks really just dumb, but I mean it's sick at the same time, you know what I mean, so. But the reason I like this car so much, and if you saw my Sylvia K's video when we had that Forzathon event, that Sylvia K's that we could win from the Forzathon, I talked about this car a little bit, the Nissan 240SX, because I used to play a game called Midnight Club, and I feel like I mention this almost every other video now, but I love that game, and this was the starter car in that game and this was the first time that I like really liked a Nissan and I absolutely loved driving it and when I first pulled this thing out when it was still completely stock it sounded exactly like it from Midnight Club Los Angeles man I was so excited and I was just so happy that I saw this in the car pack I wasn't sure what would be in the car pack and at first when I saw the things I was like there's nothing here but then I saw this and I was like no that's not that is it but the tune I've been working on, I left the stock motor because like I said, I love the sounds of the car and I did not want to change that. And I also left it rear wheel drive and I've actually been drifting very well in it. I do spin out sometimes, again, I'm not any type of professional drifter, I'm not very good at it. But I'm having a lot of success in this particular car and I know this car is pretty much built for it and that's what people use it for. But I really didn't expect to be able to drift a rear wheel drive car very easily because the ones I have been drifting to this point are mainly all-wheel drive and most people say I mean I don't know what the facts are but most people say it's easier in all-wheel drive so I figured okay well that's how I'm actually doing all right with it but you know I'm actually doing really well with this car and it is so much fun to drive it is just so much fun it's ridiculous it just brings back so many memories because even though this was only the starter car in Midnight Club Los Angeles I loved the car so I drove it very very often there were so many cars that were so much faster but for some reason I just love this car and you could also customize the interior in that game and they had more options for the wheels and all that kind of stuff and that's one thing if there's one thing I'm disappointed about it's simply just the fact that there's not really that much customization I'm not too happy about the spoilers and also the side skirts but I am happy enough with the rear bumper and the front bumpers they're fine and the wheels you know they're okay I've never really thought Forza games have that many great wheels but overall, I'm still loving this car. I mean, I'm so happy they added this in, and I really hope they continue to add cars like this that'll just bring back tons of memories, because I am really enjoying it. I really, really wish I still had my Xbox 360 so I could get Midnight Club Los Angeles again and show you what I used to do with the Nissan 240SX, the way I used to customize it and all the beautiful options they had in that game, because 
it was pretty much perfect in that game. I mean, I loved it so much, and maybe someday I will get my 360 back again because I did sell it to get my Xbox One, but honestly, there was so many games and so many memories tied to the 360, and I really wish I could go back and play some of them, but I was actually hoping that they would make Midnight Club Los Angeles backwards compatible, just kind of like they did with Forza Horizon, the original. I really, really hope they do, because that would be amazing. Like, I would go back and play that, and I would love to make content on that game as well. I 100% of that game, like, three times, and literally beat every little thing that you could possibly beat in that game, because I loved it that much. Like, I played that game a little bit too much, I think, but that's where we're going to end it off on today's video. I'm going to let you obviously enjoy the rest of this gameplay. I have a lot of drifting gameplay coming up here, and it was a lot of fun. I'm not a professional drifter, so it's nothing special, but maybe someone, if anyone's still watching at this point, is a good drifter and maybe considers themselves to be a pro, and just from watching me drift, let me know what I'm doing right and wrong and how I can improve, because I can learn from other people as well, so... But I highly recommend you get this car pack. It's called the Alpine Stars Car Pack, I believe. And this is the second car pack, I think, that has come out, you know, after the release of the game. So I think there was the October car pack and then the November car pack because the game came out in September. So I think that makes sense. But I'm really enjoying this car. I might try out some of the other ones, but I'm absolutely focusing on this one because I'm really enjoying it. So I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you enjoyed the rest of this drifting gameplay. Let me know what you think about this car, and also let me know if you used to play Midnight Club Los Angeles and enjoyed this car as much as I did. But thank you, as always, for watching. I'll talk to you all again very soon. Peace out.